Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this invisible flickering effect inside of After Effects. So let's just get into it. So as you can see, I have this clip of Babytron. So to start off, as always, I'm gonna take my Rotoverse tool and start rotoscoping out him. If you don't know how to rotoscope, there's a bunch of tutorial on YC. You can check it out. It's a really simple process to do. So first, I'm gonna just select my subject like this and also go through the video and if there's any mistake fix it after that don't freeze it yet we have to go to our effects panel and here you can see our rotor brush effect so in order to invert our max and make it invisible we're gonna use invert foreground and background just check that right here in the rotoscope after that just freeze your rotoscope as always after you do that in your composition panel it should look something like this that we exactly want if i turn in the transparency gear you can see it is like transparent and stuff so to remove our subject we're gonna go to content overfill and in here you can play with the alpha expansion and in fill method make sure it's on object and also make sure the lighting correction is turned on and set to strong so after that just generate your fill layer and let it do its thing after that once it's done you can see our subject is removed from our scene that we exactly want so now we'll create the flickering effect so let's just copy our background layer which is this one just copy this and delete the rotor scroll from it and put it before our fill layer and our clip should get normal again that's what we exactly want now the way i'm gonna flicker it is go like two frames and split the layer and go again two frames and split the layer and delete the middle part so it like flickers like that as you can see and do it one more time right here right over here so it like goes like that and one more time right here and i want it to display at this part so i'm gonna trim it till like here over here maybe like that and after it appears i'm gonna make it flicker again so two frames here two frames delete this middle one two frames again delete this middle one oh uh, maybe something like that it's just too late i guess so after that my effect is looking something like this also you can like play with the end end duration of the clip so let me just duplicate it once more and put one right here so yeah after that my flickering effect is done but to spice it up i like to add a preset from my preset pack as always so i'm going to use grunge fx if you don't have it just straight free to any type of effect into it like something like chromatic aberration or something like that it looks really cool with it or you can also add some sick if you want but i'm gonna use ultimate grunge bundle and from the add-on for now i'm gonna use double clip and line it up so it like goes like that and from here remove the hotspot and the flicker and add a chromatic aberration into it i really like that any chromatic aberration and low and lower down the amount of it after adding the preset it gives like this double layer effect as you can see i really like if you don't already know i have my ultimate grunge bundle pack which allows you to add those insane grungy effects and these type of effects in seconds it's really dope so i'll link it in the description the grunge add-on requires sapphire and the another one don't require sapphire so you can like choose between if you want to buy them individually so yeah i'll leave this in the description if you want to check it out so after all my effect looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this we are uploading daily on july so stay locked in so yeah see you in next video peace